This lesson is an introduction to cubic curves. I'm going to talk algebra for just a minute, so bear with me. In the past couple of lessons, we've looked at quadratic curves. These curves had one bend in them. That means that an equation that describes the line had something squared. That's what quadratic means. Something in the equation was an x squared. Moving up one level, we have an equation that has somewhere in them an x cubed. There may also be an x squared in there too, but the highest order is cubed. Each time you go up one order, you add one more curve to the line. This means that the lines are drawn from a cubic equation and have two curves in them. Okay, I'm not going to talk algebra anymore, so let's take a look at the code. As I'm sure you suspected, having an extra curve requires an extra control point. And you're right. Each of the two curves has its own control point. And here they are. These points work just like the quadratic point in the previous lesson, but they're drawn a bit differently in this example because I find it easier to visualize them if they're drawn as lines instead of points. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. The code that actually draws the curves is very similar to the code in the previous lesson. A line is drawn from point x1, y1 to the point x2, y2. And there are the two control points, one for each curve in the line. The point x1 control and y1 control is one control point, and x2 control and y2 control is the second point. This is the constructor of the curve. To construct the curve, you must include the two endpoints and the two control points. These are the local method calls that draw some other information on the screen so you can see where the control points are and just how they affect the line. Here at the bottom of the code is the control line method. It draws two different things. First, it fills a rectangle at the end point of the line. This makes the ends of the lines look just like the ends of the curves in the previous lesson. Then, a line is drawn from the end point of the line to the control point. It could have been done with boxes, just like the previous examples, but this turns out to be a bit more descriptive of what actually is going on. Back at the drawing of the curves, the final step is to draw the curve itself. There are other curves drawn in the window. All of them use exactly the same code. The only thing that's different are the values of x and y. Here are the curves. Notice how the lines drawn from the end point seem to pull the curve in their direction. It works like the quadratic curve, except that now there are two attracting points for the line. Notice how the two points create two curves in the line. In particular, notice the example on the far right. One point is further from the end point than the other, and the result is that the curve is not symmetric, because the center of one curve is further along the line than the other. I'll show you some more cubic curves in the next lesson.